Hey, this is Steve Two Guy. Well, thank you for coming out to this video. I want to show you another piece of software that I just developed, and a lot of you was very anxious for me to launch this software because a lot of companies are really overpriced and overcharging people of using their platforms to be able to send out text messages, but I actually went into my laboratory or you can call my tool shed state of two guy went into my tool shed and started to think okay what can I do to be able to cut costs and to be able to send out free text messages so I decided to try to tap into Google Voice to design a software to accommodate Google Voice platform and that you might be able to send out free text messages using Google Voice. So here it is. Also, look below the video, and you may see another video if you stumble upon this blog. Okay, this blog will be talking about the importance of Google Voice and this educating you on how to use it, how to maximize your efforts, and how to not abuse it. Okay. Google Voice, you don't want to abuse Google Voice because Google Voice is nice enough to allow you to use their platform to send out text messages for free. Okay, but you want to maximize that effort and just educate yourself with this blog. Educate yourself with the other video so you can go forth and maximize your efforts using this software. Okay. First thing you want to do, you want to go ahead and say, okay, you can see the total SMS sent, the total emails used, and it also it validates the numbers and lets you know if the numbers are valid or not. Okay? Now, also you can go here, click on the state of two guy.com to get other software. Also, you can click here to start the software. This way you Browse and upload your contacts. Click here, add message. You can put your message here, type it in, and you can add your emails with the password so you can log into your Google Voice account and start sending out text messages. Okay, first thing we want to do when you open up the software, you want to go to your file folder. This software will automatically create a file for you as soon as you open it. I'm going to show you. After you download the software and you open it up, you're going to see the interface here. Then you're going to go ahead and open up your file. Go to your documents and you'll see the folder right here. Okay, you click on it and you'll see phone list email. It is 3.31 a.m., 3.31 a.m., okay? So now, when you click on it, it has no numbers, okay? When you click on it, it has no emails, no email, account, and password, okay? So you want to close that out. Now. What you need to do, you should already have a list with numbers on it anyway. Okay? So, what you want to do, which I have a list already, you want to go to your list. Let's see if I can remember what list I used. That's not it. Let's go to documents. I just want to find my list. I got a test list right here. So you want to go to your test list or a list that you created. You just copy your numbers. 
go back to your software. You want to paste the numbers on your empty list, your phone list. Make sure you watch this video fully, okay, all the way to the end. Save. All right, now you have a list with numbers on it. Email list. So what you want to do, copy your Google Voice emails that you want to use, open it up, and you paste it here, and you close it, and you save it, okay? So you should be saved right there. And your numbers here. All right. Now, like I said, this software is going to automatically create your phone list and your email list. Once the software finishes sending out messages to the recipients, then you have to come back and name this list and name that email list. Okay. And I will show you why you need to at the end of the video. So watch the whole video throughout all right now what we want to do now how many emails do you want to use so what we're going to do i'm just going to use two since we already saved two and you always want to click this because you want to send valid numbers okay now how many text messages you want to send from each email now each google voice account Right now, we max it out at 30 because some Google Voice account, if you got a fresh one, would probably allow you up to 15 text messages per account. But we, some allow 30, some allow a little bit more. But right now, we set the software up at 30 just to play it safe. And we, I want you to watch the other video showing you why Google Voice limits your account and it varies from account to account so that's the reason why you want to watch both videos okay so we're gonna do so we got two google voice accounts we have four numbers so we want to send two messages per google voice account okay so it's going to rotate them so once the first google voice account Finish, it will rotate to the next Google Voice account and send to. All right, that, that will exhaust the list because we only had four numbers on the list to begin with. Now, contact. Browse. And it uploads the four numbers. Add the email. It uploads the two. Enter your message body. I'm just going to say okay. Now we want to go back to the start. So we already upload our list, our message. In our Google Voice accounts that we're going to use. So we're going to click Start. It's going to open up a browser. Okay, and you're going to see it. It's opening the browser. And here's the browser. And you're going to watch it log into the first Google Voice account. It's kind of slow doing it because I'm doing a video of it and it's slowing it down.
free text messages, guys. Once it logs in, it's going to start writing text messages. You never want to touch the software while it's doing its job. Okay? Do not touch it. Do not try to move it. Do not try to do anything to the software. Okay? While it's doing its job. Do not mess with the software. So it sent out a total of one total SMS sent. Two valid numbers. All right, one total email used, two valid numbers. I was going to log into the other email account because we had two and we're going to send out per Google Voice account very easy and simple and the reason why there's a little delay because I'm using a video with it so it's kind of kind of throwing it off a little bit Email found, just typing it in. Now it's fixing the login. One message sent. Has finished. Okay, so it sent out two messages per account. Now let's go back to the text file. Back to your documents. Go back to your software. Here's the list. Now you rename the list by clicking it one time. Left click it. Just name it, whatever you want to name it, and tap it, and name your email list. And name it, and there you go. That's how you make sure you always name it because once you open it back up, it will rename it phone list and email list and then you have to start the process over again.